Hi, I'm Brianna from Brianna K Designs, and today I want to talk to you about Annie's Afghan kit, which is a seaside sampler afghan. It's really a lot of fun, but first I want to talk about the color tones I chose because I'm absolutely in love with them. So this is some of the color tones. As you can see, they're a nice calm neutral which means they picked it so that this can go with any home decor in terms of a seaside look it reminds me a little bit of like a nantucket home decor which i absolutely adore it really will fit with any theme i love that they chose those neutrals because we all have different colors of couches and different home decor around so it's nice to have something super lovely and neutral that will fit with any home decor theme next i want to jump into the supplies so one of the wonderful things about these kits is there is no need for you to rush to the store. Everything comes to you in this beautiful package in the mail. It makes you want to stalk the mailman. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but one thing it really comes with it that's great is a stitch guide. So they're not just throwing you into instructions without showing you first what those are. And the nice thing I love about their stitch guides is they also have a lot of picture visuals, which is awesome because then you can see the structure of a stitch and understand exactly what the words are telling you so that's why these are invaluable i also like how they include like the the weight yarn yarn system which is great even though they're already giving you the yarn and you don't have to think about it it's still really great to understand what you're working with and expand that knowledge which is why these kits are fun is it's expanding or building upon the knowledge you already have so no matter what level you come into you're most likely going to learn something new and if you're really new you're really going to expand those skills which i think is a great way to do it stress free when it comes to the instructions they're not going to overwhelm you if someone were to tell me okay here's all these instructions to this beautiful textured afghan go it feels a bit overwhelming so this is the nice thing about being part of the kit it breaks it up into pieces that are easily worked and not feeling overwhelming and it doesn't burn you out this is a way to space it out and not burn you out while understanding what you're doing without frustration so these will come in the mail and this first kit comes with stripes one through three i really like how they label the stripes they have pictures and visuals in here so you can see exactly what you're tackling with this kit without any confusion it's laid out very nicely the instructions are very well written also annie's has their video tutorials on annies.com. So if you ever really get stuck, just jump on over there and we'll definitely help you out with that. It also comes with your crochet hook and a needle for weaving in ends and any stitch markers should you need them. Now, I am definitely a person who loves stitch markers. While sometimes I do like to live life on the edge, <laughs> when it comes to crocheting, I'm definitely a safety person where if I'm not sure of something, I'll throw a stitch marker in to either keep track of the first stitch in the round or where the directions say. It's a great way to understand what you're doing and lessen the confusion. But there's enough stitch markers in here to work on other projects too, so it's kind of a nice little bonus. So I'm kind of giggling at myself here because as I'm working up a little swatch to show you one of the stitches is used in stripes one through three, I was looking at the, the photo here, this nice photo, and I was looking at the edge of the blanket and it's a really nice edge. I really like the border and how they finished it off, but I don't have that kit yet. So I'm super curious what stitch it is that they use. I think I know, but I'm not 100%. So of course now I'm super excited to keep doing this Afghan so that I can um, see what each stitch is worked because even as a designer, I look at some of these stitches and I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I have not done a few of them, which is super exciting because I love to learn new things too. And that border is really pretty, like kudos. I really like how that border is finished off. So as I'm working through this, um, this will not be the full instructions because it's an Afghan, which is quite long. It would be hard to get that into this video. You'd be watching me crochet for a while. So I want to show you just what you need to know. So I am working my first row of half double crochet stitches. You'll need to chain and do the amount that you need in the instructions to do the afghan. But we're going to do a small tidbit here so that when you get to this part, you will be flying with your crochet hooks and you will know what you're doing. So a few more here and I want to show you. What we're going to be doing with this next row is we are going to be working into what's called the third loop. If you haven't ever heard that term before, it's really, really fun. And it's not 
scary. I think that some people have some confusion with it, but once they see a visual, which is in here, or they see someone do it, they're like, oh my gosh, that's so, that's so fun and so simple. So I want to show you how to work into the third loop of a half double crochet. I've turned my work so that the side that we are working is facing you. That way we can see what stitch construction we're doing. Now normally when we work a half double crochet, we would simply go through both of those V stitches on top and work it as normal, but that's not where we're going to insert our hook. The reason why it's called a third loop is because when we're working a double crochet stitch, on the opposite side of where we're working, there is another loop on the back. That's the loop we're going to go through. Since we've already turned, that loop is facing us. So instead of entering through the V part of the stitch, we're simply going to insert into that third loop on the front. This creates a nice effect on the other side that almost looks knit. So if you've ever seen people have a beautiful knit stitch, that's how they do it in crochet, is they manipulate sometimes through that third loop. So once again, in yarn over, and instead of going through both of those loops, those Vs, we are simply going to insert our hook into that third loop on the front and complete the half double crochet. So it's really the same, like you're doing the half double crochet the exact same way you've always done. It just changes the look a lot by going into that third loop on the front. And let me show you what's happening on the back here. See how this is a nice horizontal knit look stitch? It's super fun. By going into that third loop, it pushes the, the V stitches towards the front of this work and creates a really nice texture. Now let me show you what happens on the next row after this. So I've completed working in the third loop that was facing me. So we were working on the third loop that was in front of the work, in front of the stitch. But now on this next row, we're going to be working the third loop on the back. This one can feel a little bit tricky at first, but let me walk you through it. This R, this is the top of our stitches, the V stitches that we can see here. And we can see the loop on the front here, but we wanna work it through the back. So we will yarn over, and instead of going through both of the V stitches, we're simply just going to look for the very next loop. So sometimes you kinda of have to turn your work a little bit towards you to find it, but it's just simply the very next loop that's on that back side past the normal V stitches that you would work through. So see, instead of working through both of the loops like normal, I just want to find the loop that's directly next behind those. That's why it's called that third loop. We're skipping the first two loops and we're going for that third. And what this does is you can see once again, it's doing it a little bit differently this time, but it's making our top V stitches pop towards us, which creates that really nice textured knit look stitch. It's a lot of fun to do. And the only thing that is a little bit tricky at first is just understanding that third loop. But now that you do, you definitely should try this out on the afghan. Get the instructions. I like the images that show you what the stitch will look like. And then you simply just follow along. And it's, it's a little bit slower than doing your normal half double crochets because you've got to turn and find that loop. But that's part of the fun of learning a new stitch is seeing how it works up. So who knew by doing the half double crochet just slightly different, you can have a completely new look, which is really nice for texture. Now this is only one of the texture stitches that are in your very first kit of rows one through three. There's two other really nice texture stitches to work through. And if you're a beginner, I want you to understand, this is super important, that this is not something to be intimidated by. This is for you. I think there are times where I will see a big project and I think, oh no, I don't, I don't have those skills, I can't do that. But the point of these kits are you don't need to have those skills yet, you can learn them. And if you are an advanced crocheter, you can expand upon them or simply enjoy working different combinations of texture stitches to see the unique result in one afghan. And if you really like your afghan and you've completed it when you're done and you want to do it again, the nice thing is you can go to annies.com and they have this nice squishy yarn that they can simply send you more. So you can always like try again with mixing up the colors to maybe customize it for yourself, but all the yarn can be ordered on annies.com. So 
I could see me really enjoying this project and wanting to make it again, maybe mix up the colors to something else or simply do the same one. So the nice thing is it's not that this is just a one and done. If you really enjoyed it and you have all the instructions already to do it again, you can definitely do that. And Annie's has the yarn for you to go ahead and do that again which means it's a great gift. It's a great gift to give this app again to somebody for like a wedding gift or a special event, an anniversary, but the kits themselves are really nice gifts. I think that if you have a friend who's stuck in bed with a broken leg, or which I hope not, but it happens, or they, they've had a, you know, a hard time, or they're simply just, just feeling a little bit down, this is cheaper than sending flowers to send them a kit. And Annie's has lots of kits to choose from. Um, it's a great gift and it's personalized because it shows that you care and know your crochet friends. And it also helps them add some entertainment and spark to their lives because you can only stare at flowers for so long. <laughs> flowers aren't really going to entertain you for that long if you're you know, stuck with a cold or you're in a hospital or heaven forbid you broke your leg or your foot hurts, you could only look at flowers for so long. So this is great too, because as they're working it up, they'll be thinking of you and how awesome you are giving gifts. I have to say, I have one of few gifts. Um, I win in the gift category, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you can win too. This is a great one and super easy because you don't need to go to the store and do gift wrapping or spend a ton of money having a flower delivery service deliver. Um, you can simply click and it's done, complete. You're sending your friend everything they need. And I also want you to spoil yourself because we all need fun mail and we all need something fun in our lives. And this is definitely fun. It's something to look forward to. I really, really enjoy those beautiful purple packages in the mailbox and it's not overwhelming because sometimes I look at an Afghan and I just think, oh man, that's a big project. Am I gonna get through it? But with these kids, yes, step-by-step, step, kit by kit you do and it's a lot less stressful than having to look at a huge pile of yarn thinking oh i need to turn that into an afghan this is less thinking more crocheting which is a lot of fun i really have enjoyed it and i hope you enjoy this kit too i recommend jumping on over there getting your order in and then stocking the mailman have a great day